I think we're in totally uncharted territory and to have something like this food distribution centre that today will probably package up uh, 1,500 packages of food uh, really is unprecedented. Uh, but we're there to help meet the urgent need. We, we're, we're all in this crisis together and we certainly don't want to see parents that can't afford to put food on the table for their kids and that's what this is about. And we're finding people, a, a woman that said to us the other day, look, I, I really feel bad about this. I've never had to ask for help before, uh, but my, my husband's lost his job. We don't have backup savings and we're really desperate for food. We've, we've created a production line in the floor. Um, some creative thinking of us for, who are used to putting together festivals on Greensfield sites from, from nowhere. So an interesting challenge, but the same theories. So we started off with uh, the boxes uh, getting built. And we've got a team who do the boxes. There's two boxes and the labels get put on the boxes. Um, people then come around with trolleys. They put two boxes on the trolleys. There's 30 items. They go past each pallet where we've had a drop and they pick up one of the items, put it in the box, come to the end of the line. They then go drop the two boxes at a table that then goes into a courier post mini pallet, which is the little thing, metal crates that they use for shunting around the country. And uh, I think we get about 20 boxes on a pallet. And then New Zealand couriers send a big truck and then take it then for distribution. The packages are uniform, they're largely non-perishable goods. We take the calls using council staff uh, at our contact centre. Uh, they've been trained to ask the questions, establish the need. The orders are put through here. We've got the Spark Arena uh, and its staff doing the packaging, countdown supplying the goods, uh, New Zealand couriers delivering to the door and the process is being paid for uh, with funding from central government. So it's an it's a all of New Zealand approach, private sector, local council and central government and designed to make sure that those that are in desperate need are getting the help they need at this time of crisis.